Hey there everybody and welcome back to the Son of the Morning Comics channel and we've got another new comic review. This time it's Soul Packed number one by Marcel Dupree who was kind enough to provide another PDF from his Evolu Zion Publishing Company. So yeah, got nothing but good things to say about this one. Solid writing with great art and amazing color. But before we get into the review, First, we'll take care of a little bit of housekeeping and give credit where credit is due. <clears throat> the creative team on Soul Pact includes script by Marcel Dupree, art by Vincenzo Sansoni, color by Lorenzo Berdondini, and letters by Justin Birch, and edits by Chris D. So let's get into some Soul Pact. The story begins with an Im impaled, winged, devil-looking lady surrounded by other winged, devil-looking ladies thinking that she's dead. And they may have been the murderers. But uh, she ain't dead yet. The others uh, uh, said that a mysterious he said that it would work. And uh, she responds, he doesn't know how to stop the lord of the fifth realm of hell. And of course... A fight ensues. She obviously isn't pleased about the backstabbing of her sisters, but she is outnumbered and about to be killed when they are interrupted by this ominous he. One of the ladies says we had a deal, to which he responds, I don't make deals with demons, I hunt them. Next we shift to a completely different scene where we meet our protagonist, Naya. She's having coffee with her friends when she becomes perturbed by the presence of a boy that she slept with and never called her again. On his way by Naya's table, the guy has the nerve to say hi and that he'll call her later. That's enough for Naya, and she decides it's time to check his ass, which she does. <clears throat> Naya then tells her friends that she has to go. She, sorry, that she has to go. Moving back to our injured demon lady, she is struggling to get up when she is accosted by two lower level pack demons who attack her, uh, which she actually likes because killing them will restore her power. But she's too weak to win the fight, but before they can finish her, a mysterious demon head pops up, blows up one of the guy's heads, and tears the arms off the other before blowing his head up as well. This angelic looking winged demon picks her up exclaiming, poor Nell, before flying off into the moonlight with Nell in her arms. Back over to Naya, where she appears to be serving drinks at a party at the Playboy Mansion. She hates this job, but does it for the connections. But soon her boss yells at her, presumably not for the first time, and Naya says she's had it and takes off. Naya decides to stop for coffee. At the same time, Nell is laid down in bed by her sister Demon. At the coffee shop, Naya receives a call from Mark, the guy who one night standed her, and it's a video chat of him having sex with the girl that he was with earlier. Oops. Then presumably on her way home, Naya sees a struggling Nell in a back alley. Naya asks if she can help. Nell's response is, if that we both need help. Naya thinks Nell is crazy when she asks her to take her hand. She does and the story ends with a burst of light. Presumably, Nell has transferred her powers to Naya. At least that's how I'm reading it anyway. Um, so that was the end of the story. I absolutely loved this comic. The writing is top notch, and I have to praise Vincenzo, Vincenzo Sansoni for his expert ability to draw beautiful, sexy women of all shapes and sizes and do it with style. The kind of art you'd never find with the big two and a lot of indie publishers as well. Kudos. Great book. So this has been my review of Soul Pack number one. Thank you for joining me here on the Son of the Morning Comics channel. If you like this content, hit that like button, 
subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, you know, leave some comments down below, and you can also hit me up over at Son of the Morning 7 over on Twitter. See you next time.